In this video, we'll write the balanced net ionic equation for aluminum nitrate plus sodium phosphate. So when we balance net ionic equations, the first thing we need to do is balance the molecular equation. This right here, that's the molecular equation. I can see right away that I have three sodium atoms here and just one here. So I'm gonna put a three in front of the sodium nitrate here, balances the sodiums. I have three nitrates and over here I have three nitrates, so that's good. I have one aluminum, one aluminum, and then one phosphate, one phosphate group. So this is the balanced molecular equation. Now we need to write the state for each substance. If you know your solubility rules, nitrates are very soluble. So we're gonna write AQ, that's gonna dissolve and dissociate into its ions. In general, phosphates are insoluble. They don't dissolve, except for group one elements like sodium or potassium. Those will dissolve, they'll be soluble so if you see sodium phosphate, that will be soluble. But aluminum phosphate, not soluble. It's insoluble, so we say it's a solid. That means these two will react, they'll form the solid, it'll be a precipitate, fall to the bottom of the test tube. So we have this precipitate forming, so we write S. And then nitrates again, very soluble, A, Q. So we have the states, now we can split the strong electrolytes into ions for the complete ionic equation. Aluminum is always three plus, and the whole nitrate ion is always one minus. Good one to remember. So we have the aluminum ion, Al3+, plus, and then we have three of these nitrate ions, three of the nitrate ions. Sodium is in group one. It's a one plus ionic charge, and the whole phosphate always three minus. So we have three sodium atoms, and then we have the phosphate ion. So these are the reactants in our net ionic equation. For the products, we don't split solids apart in net ionic equations. So this is just gonna be AlPO4, this aluminum phosphate. And then we said sodium is positive, the nitrate ion negative, three sodium ions. And then the three goes to everything here. We have three nitrate ions. So this is the complete ionic equation. Now we're gonna cross out spectator ions. They're on both sides of the complete ionic equation. They haven't changed, so as chemists, we're not interested in them. Let's see, reactants, we have three nitrate ions right here. Products, three nitrate ions. These are spectator ions, we'll cross those out. In the reactants, we have three sodium ions. Same in the products here, spectator ions, cross them out. What's left, that's the net ionic equation for aluminum nitrate plus sodium phosphate. I'll clean this up and write the states. We'll have our net ionic equation. So this is the balanced net ionic equation for AlNO3-3 plus Na3PO4. You note first that charge is balanced. We have a three plus and a three minus. That adds up to zero. Net charge is zero on this side. This is a neutral compound, net charge of zero as well. So the charge is balanced. And if you count the atoms up, they're balanced as well. This is Dr. B with the balanced net ionic equation for AlNO3-3 plus Na3PO4. Thanks for watching.